let's look at how we can use linear equations to help us solve mixture problems. For example, a student is mixing two solutions that contain hydrogen chloride. The first solution is 15% hydrogen chloride, and the second is 5% hydrogen chloride. How many milliliters of each solution should the student mix in order to obtain 100 milliliters of an 8% hydrogen chloride solution? All right, so the student has a solution that is 15% hydrogen chloride, which is being mixed with a solution that is 5% hydrogen chloride to produce a solution that is 8% hydrogen chloride. All right, so let's let x equal the number of milliliters of the 15% solution that the student will mix, and y equal the number of milliliters of the 5% solution. And therefore, x plus y will equal the number of milliliters of the 8% solution. However, looking back up here in our problem, we know how many milliliters that has to be. It has to be 100, which means that x plus y is equal to 100, or y is equal to 100 minus x. So let's write that up here. We're mixing x milliliters of the 15% solution with y or 100 minus x milliliters of the 5% solution to obtain 100 milliliters of an 8% hydrogen chloride solution. Now what's important to realize here is that the amount of hydrogen chloride before mixing is equal to the amount of hydrogen chloride after mixing. We do not create more hydrogen chloride by mixing. Now, what is the amount of hydrogen chloride before mixing? Well, what is the amount of hydrogen chloride in the first solution here? Well, if there's X milliliters of this solution, 15% of which is hydrogen chloride, then the amount of hydrogen chloride in this first solution is 0.15 times X. and then plus the amount of hydrogen chloride in the second solution, which is 0 0.05 times 100 minus x. And this has to be equal to the amount of hydrogen chloride after mixing, or 0 0.08 times 100. So now let's solve this linear equation for x. We have 0.15 times x plus, and distributing the 0.05 to both of these two terms, gives us 0.05 times 100, which is 5, and then minus 0.05 times x is equal to 0.08 times 100, which is 8. And combining the x terms on the left-hand side, and bringing the 5 to the right-hand side gives us 0 0.10 times x is equal to 3. And now dividing both sides by 0 0.10 gives us that x is equal to 30. And if x is equal to 30, we can plug that in over here, which gives us y is equal to 100 minus 30, or 70. And therefore, writing our answer up here, the student would need to mix x or 30 milliliters 
of the 15% solution with Y or 70 milliliters of the 5% solution in order to obtain 100 milliliters of the 8% hydrogen chloride solution. So this would be our answer here. And this is how we can use linear equations to help us solve mixture problems. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.